Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode 141. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I am tired. I'm like just exhausted. <laughs> so if I look really not good, that's why. I think me and Jesse are either having allergy issues or we're getting like a little cold. Because I got like, I always, whenever I start to get sick, it's in my throat first and I can feel the swollenness in there. <laughs> and Jesse's real sniffling and stuff. So I'm just tired. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I got some finished objects. I've shared some of them with you before already in, um, the holiday videos and a video I made just because. I feel like there's something missing. I don't know. I feel like I'm... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, we don't remember. We're not gonna worry about it. So I got some finished objects. Um, and I made some bees. They're up here. But I know I showed you the bees already. I made uh, a green one, two pink ones, two yellow and black ones, and a blue one. I think the blue one was a whip last time you guys seen it. Here he is. He's all done. Two, uh, one of the pink ones and one of the regular color bees, yellow and black ones, um, I sold to someone. So I still got one blue one, one green one, one pink one, and one regular one. <laughs> They're all up here until I get around putting them in my amigurumi bag. I just haven't done that yet. I got a bunch of stuff up there. I just need to clean and stuff. I just haven't felt like it. <laughs> but, um, so that bee is a free pattern that, uh, I've been making a lot lately. And, uh, Michelle over at Pixie Marie Crates has been making them. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. I think it's just called Amigurumi Bee. And it is a free pattern by Hooked by Robin. It's a really nice pattern, too. I like it a lot. I actually got to make some more bees soon by using a different pattern from the calendar the crochet calendar I got to get it it's in my cart and make that pattern uh, for April but I still got a few weeks to worry about that <laughs> so the next finished object um, these two are from uh, a national holiday it was national pencil day I believe um, so I made a immigrant pencil which is called pudgy pencil I think right yeah and it's a free Ravelry download I'll link it below so it's cute you would have seen it already if you seen that video just a cute little pencil. <laughs> I think it's adorable. Use just scrap balls. And uh, I believe it's mostly red heart except this gray is I love this yarn. And then I also made a pencil pouch. I was going to give this to Jessie. I just haven't put a button on it yet. I'm procrastinating everything. <laughs> but it's called pencil pouch. And it's a free, um, I think it's made by Repeat Crafter Me. But she made it with Yarnspiration. So I think you find it on Yarnspiration's website. I can't remember exactly. But I will link it below for sure but it's just a little pencil pouch I need to put a button on it but uh, it's super cute so it is an actual pouch you can put pencils or whatever in and I keep meaning to give it to Jesse. I just need to put, get a button to put on there and it'll be all done I use the same color yarn for these <laughs> so that they'd match but uh, like I said you would already seen those if you watched the other videos so there's those two what's next okay also for another um National Crochet uh, Holiday um, Pattern. <laughs> I made a tomato. I didn't use a pattern for this. I just made a tomato. It's just a red ball and a stem thing. <laughs> and uh, again, scrap balls. But I know this is cherry red and this is a red heart, but I can't remember what the color is. It's just easy. I made it with, I think, a G-hook. Uh, I've been favoriting the G-hook lately. Um, just because I feel like projects get done a little bit quicker uh, with it. I had to work on my attention a little bit to make the holes not so big. But uh, I've, I've worked on it and I've, I think it looks good. <laughs> so a tomato. Well, I feel like I'm really pale today just because I just don't feel well. Uh, okay, next finished object. I got quite a few finished objects. Uh, is this cute little unicorn. It's called Little Unicorn. <laughs> it is a Ravelry download also. Who made that? I can't remember. I don't have it written on there. But um, I can't remember off the top of my head. Here it is. This I did make another video on, a separate one. I was going to make a bunch of these for a craft fair later this year, but uh, the pattern just takes too long. I might make a couple more, but definitely not something that I'll pop out a bunch of because they uh, it takes too much time. It's really glary in here, <laughs> but it's a really cute unicorn. I think it's adorable. It came out really cute, and I think some little kid will probably like it a lot. So, yeah, it is cute. And the last finished object I have <laughs> is... Uh, a craft kit that I bought at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They got some things on clearance in my local Hobby Lobby. So it's called a crochet wall hanging kit and it's rainbow hoop. 
This is what the box looks like. It was $15, but it was marked down to four. Yeah. So it's really cute. It comes with everything you need to make it. And um, so I made it. <laughs> I showed it in a vlog, I think, on my other channel. I'm trying not to get the little dangly parts tangled up. I guess the ends I gotta deal with. But there's the rainbow and the horrible clouds. I did a really horrible job making the clouds. <laughs> that's okay. And then the pom-poms hanging down. So it's cute. I think it's really cute. I'm going to hang it up probably somewhere in here. But yeah. came with all the pom-poms already pre-made and these little beads. And it came with strings. And it came with this like roving to make clouds with. And it came with all the yarn. And the the, in, the back looks bad. <laughs> this meshy stuff to cro crochet onto. And then the hoop. And also came with a needle or a sewing needle, like a plastic one, and a G hook, I believe it was. Sewing hook. And the hook was a style like uh, Susan, ba not Susan Bates, like a boy. It was rounded off. But yeah, it was pretty easy to work up. It was a little hard at first, but then you get the groove of it. And what this is, this is just top stitching through these holes on this thing. So it's like when you top stitch on top of a crochet piece, it's basically slip stitches that you're making through the item. And that's basically all you do here is just a bunch of those top stitches. Mine isn't that tight on here. I couldn't get it to be super tight, but I'm not worried because it's just going to hang up. <laughs> but I think it's cute. I liked it. It was a lot of fun making something different. And, uh, you know, it was only $4, so I was happy with it. <laughs> but I got to try to keep these pom-pom things from getting all tangled up. So those are all the finished items I've had for the last about two weeks, I think. Uh, I've been, I got another whip I'm going to share with you in just a second. Let me move this. And uh, this was a pattern that was gifted to me, and I wanted to make it because it's cute. <laughs> and I like to try to make patterns people give to me so that they know that I use them. Um, so this was gifted to me by someone who usually wishes to stay anonymous. So I'm not going to mention who sh that person is um, because of that. But it's a really cute amigurumi. It's called Cute Clown. <laughs> I'll pop up a picture of what it's going to look like because I, I don't have a whole lot of work done on it yet. So, so far I have this much. <laughs> Uh, I did the feet and the socks and the legs and body. So I still have to do the arms, uh, the collar and like cuffs down here, uh, the head with the facial stuff and the hair. The hair is going to take a while because it's all like curly cues, but it's going to be really cute. It's different colors and I got all my yarn here in my project bag. I just need to sit down and work on it. I haven't really crocheted at all in a few days because I've been busy finishing up sewing and also um, Devin's work schedule is so weird now that on days that he's off, we run around and do everything <laughs> on that day. So we've been really busy the last few days getting everything done. But yeah, so it's going to be cute. Again, this is supposed to be made with smaller yarn and smaller hook. But uh, I'm using a G-hook because, again, I've just been wanting to use bigger hooks lately. And worsted weight yarn. So I still think the stitches look pretty good. And uh, this stuff is not poking through or anything, so I'm, I'm happy with it. I gotta finish him up though because he's not done. The picture of the little clown's face, he looks sad. <laughs> so I told Devin I'm gonna try to make a little mouth on him or something to make him look a little happy. Do the eyebrows different. I mean, that poor little picture of that little clown looks so sad. <laughs> and uh, I wanna make him a happy clown. But yeah, um, I used to be scared of clowns when I was a kid. And, uh, but uh, probably because of the original uh, It movie uh, with Tim Curry in it which I love. I love anything by Stephen King. I love anything with Tim Curry in it. But um, now I'm not so much scared of them. Like even the killer clowns from outer space isn't, doesn't scare me anymore. <laughs> it used to scare me. <laughs> but uh, my mother-in-law is really, she really hates clowns. So I definitely can't show her this because she, she's going to hate that. <laughs> but yeah. So um, I just got all those yarns piled up in there that I'm using. I don't know what, most of them are red heart. I'm not sure about this one because it's like a different color yellow. I'm, I'm assuming it's Red Heart because it feels like Red Heart. I think it was gifted to me or it was in um, like a big bundle of yarn that someone gave me. I can't remember exactly. But I'm pretty sure the rest of them are all Red Heart. Oh no, the skin color isn't. I thought about doing just white, like, like white, white. Because, you know, a lot of clowns have painted white faces. But uh, I just went ahead and grabbed this because I had it in my uh, yarn balls, stash, um... Scrabbles, <laughs> and this is olive yarn light peach which is um the color i like using for caucasian skin tones like mine <laughs> i'm super pale <laughs> so but um 
I mean, you know, it's a skin tone. You can pick any color you want or do crazy colors. Because I thought I, I still might do white because a lot of clowns do have painted white faces. And then, like, the red, you know, smile and the black outline. I don't know. If I can get that to look not stupid, I might try that. But I just grabbed this because it was in my yarn balls. Um, oh, and his little hands have gloves on. Devin told me I should have, um, because when he seen it, it was, like, down here. He said I should change it to white and then do the hair, uh, like orangey red and make it look kind of like Pennywise the dancing clown <laughs> but uh, I'm just gonna stick to the pattern because it's cute and I want a cute clown I don't want one that's gonna scare my son <laughs> I do have a Pennywise pattern that was also gifted to me I think by the same person I can't remember but uh, it was a long time ago and it's it's like a real detailed one you have to use smaller hook and smaller yarn to make it look more detailed and I, it's in my stash but I don't know if I'll ever get around to making it just because little hooks intimidate me but the smallest I'm comfortable using is elf hook. Um, most of the time is what I use. But lately I've just been favoriting the G hook. <laughs> so that's the only active whip I have. I do have my scrap gun and I added some to it since last time y'all seen it. But I forgot to bring it in here. It's just in there. Because I've been using my scrap balls for amigurumis lately. I go back and forth. I have moments where I love making baby items. And then I, I'll do amigurumis and then I'll do blankets and then I'll do more amigurumis. And I'll just flip flop, flop around. Because I get bored making certain things over and over again. So, uh, I just like to make what I want to make when I want to make it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I brought this hat in here. Because I was going to wear it and I forgot to put it on. <laughs> this is my strawberry beret that I made um, earlier this year. But it's so cute. And we're going to go to a strawberry festival. Hoping to. Uh, I believe May the 15th. I think is when it is. That's really close to my birthday. It's after, it's after my birthday. My birthday's May 7th, <laughs> if you're curious. And Jesse's is May 1st, and he'll be five years old. Ooh, creeping me out. Anyways, this hat. I want to make some more of these, because if I go to the Strawberry Festival, I'm going to wear this hat. And I'd like to take a few extra ones with me, in case someone wants to purchase one. Because <laughs> then I'll have some on hand. But, uh, yeah, I think it's cute, and I think I don't look completely stupid in it. I don't know if I'm wearing it right. Is it supposed to be further on your head? I don't know. <laughs> I think it looks all right. I am so pale though. The red and the contrast is like ridiculous. <laughs> I'm really pale the last few days because I don't feel well. But uh, yeah, I think it looks all right. What do you think? I think it's cute. But uh, I just thought, because this is really easy to make. It's, it worked out pretty quick. The most annoying part was putting these little seeds on there because they're like stitched on there. But um, I think it's cute and I think People will probably want to buy them, especially if I'm wearing one, because it's like a walk-in advertisement. And then if I can have some with me, so I can sell them. Maybe make some um, strawberry am amigurumis or uh, pot holders. I don't know, just some strawberry-related things and take with us. There's also, we're going to, we wanted to go to the Banana Pudding Festival that is actually this coming Saturday. But this coming Friday, we're going to be going out of town and we're going to be staying at a hotel overnight. I touched my neck and now it's red. See, that's how pale I am. I just touched myself and I turned red. <laughs> but um, I don't know if we're going to be back in our town, our area, before that is. So I don't know if we're going to go to that or not. Because I thought about making a banana hat <laughs> to wear to that. But um, And then there's also a cornbread festival coming up. Uh, I think in June or July. I can't remember. But I'm just glad festivals are coming back because we really missed doing stuff like that last year. And our cases in our area are really low. And like everybody's getting the vaccine now because in Tennessee, everybody can get it at 16 and older now. And I still haven't gotten mine. I need to go. I need to schedule mine and Devin's appointments. I really hate that Jesse can't get it. But um, if we get it, we can prevent bringing it home to Jesse. So that's good. But uh, anyways, sidetracked. I'm just glad that things are starting to pick back up again because... <laughs> uh, it sucks not being able to get out and interact with people <laughs> sometimes. But, uh, yeah. So, it's cute. All these festivals are craft fairs. Uh, they're going to have all kinds of vendors at them. And then they're also going to have whatever it is related things going on. There's usually music playing, like bands. Uh, there's food trucks. And then all the vendors set out with all their crafty things. And um, a lot of times they have, like the banana pudding one, it's going to be, I think there's 15 people. In the competition and they all bring their own banana puddings and then you get to, you can pay i think it's like five dollars and you get to try all of them 
and then they vote on who has the best banana pudding. <laughs> I don't know if the strawberry festival is doing that too. Oh, and there's also a watermelon one coming up. I think that's in July. I think it might be an alcohol one though, because it's called a watermelon crawl, and usually crawls <laughs> are alcohol related. But um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll just keep looking around because I like we like going out and doing stuff like that because you can still stay pretty socially distanced at things like that because they're always outside, you know, in big open areas. You can walk around and shop. We like to Christmas shop at craft fairs and um, get some food, listen to some music, and buy some things we probably don't need and go home. <laughs> That's what we do at craft fairs. Uh, it's a lot of fun. De Devin really loves them. He'd never been to them before. Me and him got together, and then I, I got him going to them, and he loves them a lot. He, he especially loves the Christmas ones because it's a lot of fun. You know, Christmas music playing, and you shop in for Christmas presents. It's just a lot of fun. Anyways, yeah, I'm babbling. <laughs> That's my finished objects. I feel like I've showed these before. I'm sorry if I did. It's just I've been kind of out of touch lately. <laughs> but I'm trying to pick back up. Um, yeah, I love this hat. Showed my whip. I need to get to working on some more things. I don't know if I will. <laughs> uh, I'm vlogging on my second channel, No Catch Name Life, if you want to check that out. It's always linked below. Um, I've got 800 and like 40-something subscribers over there, so I'm getting close to 1,000 on it. It's exciting. Um... I don't have enough watch time to get monetized over there. But what's cool is if I ever hit those milestones on that channel, I can monetize it with this one. So they'll both be earning towards the same AdSense account. So that'd be nice. But uh, yeah, I've been doing pretty good. I missed a couple days. Um, technically I missed yesterday. I did vlog, I just forgot to put the video up last night. So I put it up this morning and I'm, I am vlogging today also. And then later today, what time is it? It's still morning. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock here. <laughs> um, later today, I'm going to be putting bags in the shop. It's going to be um, 10 drawstring bags. And I think 19 tote bags. I think so. <laughs> later today. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that if you're interested in that. And the next shop update will be drawstring bags and zipper notion pouches. Um... I'm not sure when that will be. <laughs> I'll, I'll probably go shopping this weekend for some fabric for that. And that whole bag update will be for Jesse's birthday. The money that I make off of that next bag update will be going towards um, the stuff to make his cake. His pinata, because we always do pinatas, even though it's usually just like two people that are hitting it. The kids, which is Jesse and my nephew. <laughs> and uh, presents for him, of course. I already got a bunch of um, like cute plates and stuff. We got like Lego-y looking ones. And, uh, yeah, our parties every year for him are the same. It's always the same exact people who come to it. And it's just the grandparents, the, my, my sister and her husband and her, their son. My brother sometimes comes when he's not working and then us. So it's, it's not like a ton of people. <laughs> it's like maybe not even 10 people. And we really just do it to get together and have fun with Jesse and uh, celebrate his birthday, which is hugely important since he's probably the only baby I'll ever get to have. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, yeah, I'm blabbing a lot. I hope you guys uh, liked seeing my whips. I am mean, my whip and my finished objects. I hope you, if you have a Hobby Lobby near you, go check it out. Because I got this and this shirt that says hashtag yarn life. They're really thin though. So you might want to wear a cami under them. <laughs> um, also got a whole pile of stuff here. I think I showed it. Did I show it on this channel or another one? I can't remember. But I got a cute little um, bag clasp thingy. And it was like 82 cents. I got some greeting cards with llamas on it. I got some keychains I'll be giving away in future videos. I got a tassel maker, which is cool. <laughs> I got two puzzles, which I'm also going to give away in future videos. That's yarny puzzles. And I got two things to hang up somewhere. Crochet friends are the best friends. Yeah. And I make cute things with yarn. <laughs> These are super cute. And they're both super cheap. This is $2.50 and this was $4.30. And I actually, I got that a, a week or so ago, and then we went to Hobby Lobby a few days ago, and they still had a bunch of that stuff marked down. Still no yarn yet, though, but I'm watching it. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here and go back in the living room with Jesse because he's not feeling good today. And uh, i got to put all this stuff up, and I will see you guys in the next video, which will be coming up soon. Also, I need to make my square for my movie and stitch. I didn't do it last week, <laughs> so I need to do it this week, and I'll get caught up on that. But, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.